y'all, my name is Nani. I'll be doing a cash giveaway once I reach 2K subscribers. So if you want to be one of those two people, make sure you hit that subscribe button before the video gets started. Oh, and welcome to Vlogmas with me. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Fixing and fixing and all his reindeers blowing on the rain. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. And as always, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way in. And of course, on your way out. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> in today's video, as you can tell by that title, today we are going to be doing a My Christmas wish list. Now, the title may seem a little misleading because this is not specifically my Christmas wish list. The only reason I'm really naming it that title is because you gotta do what you gotta do to get your video out there <laughs> but yeah y'all this is really a gift guide so i kind of went through and made a list of some gift ideas that you can give to your mom your sister your daughter your cousin your boyfriend your girlfriend your grandpa your grandma anybody that's what we are going to be doing in today's video before we get into the video y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl as i mentioned in the beginning y'all i will be doing a cash giveaway once you reach 2k subscribers i'm trying to reach that goal before january 1st 2021 we are so close we only need 400 more subscribers so let's get it in y'all without further ado y'all we're just gonna get straight into this video so y'all i wrote the the wish list down on my computer so y'all i'm really happy about this macbook so if y'all see in a lot of my videos and y'all be like oh she's so happy she got a macbook yes ma'am i am i'm super hyped i got a macbook so this is where the list is at and it's about 40 plus on here so i'm gonna just go through and read them the ones that need explanation i'm gonna give explanation the ones that don't i'm really not gonna give explanation because it's been really self-explanatory i'll add pictures to some i won't but other than that that's really it we're gonna get right into number one the first thing on my list, I put money. Money is a great gift for anybody, I would say, because who doesn't really want money? You can use that money to really buy anything. If I was to receive money, I would go out and buy the gift that I wanted. And I would say money is a good gift if you don't know what to get somebody, only because why waste your money getting something they might not like when you can just give them the money and they can go get what they like. The next thing on my list I put is a new phone. That can really be any phone. I don't personally need a new phone right now, but if I was to want a new phone, I would choose a new iPhone. I know everybody is not up on iPhones and not everybody can afford an iPhone. So there are affordable phones out there, but I would generally just say a new phone. I know the iPhone 12 just came out, but that is very expensive. So I would probably go with a more inexpensive phone, which would be, would be a lower generation of iPhones. But if you do have the money like that, you can definitely go out and get a new phone. The next thing on there, I put phone cases. Who wouldn't need a phone case for their phone? They have actually a lot of good phone cases now. A lot of really pretty phone cases, should I say. Um, they have the Otter Boxes. They have the Life Proof or something like that. And then they have the really pretty girly cases, the boy cases and stuff of that sort. I know Five Below has really good cheap phone cases. Walmart has really good cheap phone cases. Target has nice phone cases, but they are a little expensive. They do have like phone cases, like phone case store thingies, like in the mall and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a good phone case, you can go to one of those stores I just named off. The next one I put is AirPods. Now I know the AirPods are actually on sale right now, like in the Walmart vicinity. They are doing like Black Friday deals on AirPods. So if you are looking to get AirPods, I would definitely do it around the holiday time because they are doing a lot of big sales on the AirPods. I personally don't like the AirPod Pros. I personally don't like AirPods in general. I had actually a pair, but they just not for me. My ears are really tiny. So they actually really like come out my ear a lot and I really, really hate that. So I personally don't like AirPods, but if you know somebody that does like AirPods, I know that they are on sale right now around this time, the holiday season. The next thing I put is Beats headphones. Guys, um, I've actually never had a pair of Beats headphones. I've always wanted a pair, but I think I've always wanted them just for style, but I don't know if Beats are still in for this generation, but I know Beats headphones are really good headphones, especially the wireless ones. They're really cute, stylish, and all that good stuff. I think Best Buy might be doing a sale on Beats only because those are like the more bigger stores that do sell those headphones. So if you're looking for like headphone wise, I would say AirPods or Beats. The next thing I put down is an Apple Watch. I know a lot of people really like Apple Watches, so um, they just actually came up with a new generation of Apple Watches, which means the other generations will be going down in price. So if you are looking for an affordable Apple Watch, I would definitely go check out um, like Walmart, Best Buy, the Apple Store, the Apple website, all that stuff. 
The next thing I put is an iPad or a tablet. I know they just came out with a new generation of iPads, like I just said about the Apple Watch. So that means the older generations are now going down in prices. Like I know they have like the Galaxy tablet, the Google tablet, um, iPad, um, Amazon tablet. So really an iPad and or tablet is a good gift because if you don't have enough money for a computer, you can always get a tablet or an iPad. Which leads me to my next thing I put is a laptop. It can be any kind of laptop really like. Do they have ARS or A? Oh, I don't really know. I just know they got laptops out there and you can really get a laptop. A laptop would be a good gift right now because I know kids are homeschooled or not homeschooled, are like online schooling. So that would be nice to get a new computer to keep it updated, to keep make sure it's running fast enough so they can complete their schoolwork beyond their Zoom calls and all that other stuff. And for number nine, I would say a camera. If you are a photographer or a YouTuber, I would suggest you ask for a camera for Christmas because it would really help the quality of your videos help the quality of your photos and it'll just get you out there more people look at you more like okay this person has this they look more like they're ready like they're ready to work and all that stuff that makes sense the next thing i put is a speaker you can never really go wrong with a speaker everybody loves listening to music um i know i love listening to music in the shower i love listening to music when i clean so a speaker is very convenient for me i actually have a speaker bar which i got from walmart a few years back i'm gonna try to find a picture so i can show you guys what it looks like and i don't think it was that expensive i think it was only like 50 dollars so if you're looking for a cheap um speaker i would definitely go to walmart next thing i put on here is a ring light y'all if you are a, a youtuber or a person who loves to take pictures a ring light would be very very useful y'all that is what i'm using right now my ring light, I got this off of Amazon. I don't actually remember the name of it, but I can put up some in the description box of some very inexpensive ring lights. I know Walmart has some on sale right now. I think they were only like $20. Um, my best friend said she just got her one from TJ Maxx. Seems to my five below. I'm pretty sure I got some at Target. Yeah. So the next one on there is LED lights. I know LED lights are very, very popular right now. So I know you can get LED lights at Amazon. You can get them at Walmart. I think they even have LED light bulbs. But you know, you can really get them from anywhere. I'll link some in my description box or even put some on the screen just to show you guys that you can get them from those places. Next, we have a vanity table. I have a lot of females on my YouTube channel who do makeup, who do hair, stuff like that. A vanity table would come in handy. We also have vanity lights if you don't actually have a vanity mirror at Five Below. So you can get vanity lights from Five Below. Next thing we have on there is a tall mirror, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna put an example over on either side of me. But basically, a tall mirror is like a very nice standing mirror where you can take very nice um, body pictures. As you guys can see, I have a mirror back there in my background, but that's just a typical $5 mirror from Walmart. When I mean a tall mirror, I'm talking about one of those big, big luxurious tall mirrors. They have them at Walmart for like $50. I know they can get more expensive than that, so that is a really inexpensive one. So yeah, I would definitely get one of those if you want to take some bomb photos. Next, we have sneakers. You really can't go wrong with sneakers. Um, I know they're coming out with a lot of good sneakers this um, year. So a couple of my favorites that recently came out are the Jordan 4s, I believe. They're red and white. Um, I just got the What the Fives. There are some 9s coming out, Jordan 9s. So I'm just going to put some pictures of jo different kind of Jordan shoes that you can buy as a parent, a brother, sister, girlfriend, boyfriend. Next on the list, we have Uggs. Uggs are really stepping their game up this year, y'all. Uggs have come out with a lot of different um, slipper brand um, types, um, boot types, all different kinds. So Uggs are very good. I think they're really inexpensive right now. I know the slipper Uggs are under $100. Anything under, I, I mean, anything over, I don't think are over $200, any of the new brand Uggs. So yes, some Uggs are really good. Next, I have Crocs on my list, y'all. Crocs became very, very, very like popular this year. I don't know from where, but they are. So Crocs are also a good gift. House slippers, house slippers too. You can get those from like Walmart, Macy's, J Max, Burlington, those type of stores, very inexpensive as well. Next, we have some sweatsuits. You can never go wrong with getting somebody some sweatsuits. You can get those from um, Dick's, um, Victoria's Secrets, H&M, Macy's. You can really get sweatsuits from anywhere. And those really, the top and bottom never really come over $100, so those are very good as well. Next, we have just any kind of clothes, period, which can include jeans and shirts. Jeans are very cheap right now around the holiday season as well as shirts. Next, we have some fluffy socks and sweaters. And I say that together because those are really like a Christmassy type of thing. Fluffy socks with a nice um, cozy sweater to cuddle up with your man, with your mom maybe, you guys watch Christmas movies, all that kind of stuff. Next, we have some baseball caps and bucket hats. Those have also came back into style. You know, the boys got the baseball caps with their girlfriend's names on it, the bucket hats for the girls and all that stuff. 
you can get a lot of those on Instagram. I know they'll probably have some in like lids and stuff like that, but I know on Instagram, a lot of people sell them. So check on Instagram. Next, I have jewelry, which can include necklaces, rings, charm bracelets, 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 watches, all that kind of stuff. For guys, I would say like chains and not necklaces, but chains. And then for girls, all the things that I've named, I know Pandora has like really cheap rings. Um, I don't think they're like real, but I know they're cheap and they're nice and girls really like them. Next, I have handbags. You can never go wrong with a handbag. Some of the prettiest bags be the cheapest bags. So price really doesn't matter when it comes to purses, um, guys. You can also ask for makeup and makeup brushes if you are into that stuff. You can get really cheap makeup brushes on like Amazon, at Five Below. Um, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Walmart, all that stuff. Next, we have bundles and wigs. Now, me personally, I'm not a bundles or wigs type of person, but I know some people who are, so you can ask for those type of things. Next, I have lip blush, y'all. You can get these at the beauty supply store for $1. So make sure you get your girls some of this lip gloss, your daughter, your cousin, your mom, anybody really. Next, we have smell goods, which can include body scrub, body perfume, body wash, bubble bath, all that stuff. You can get that from like Walmart, Bad Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works. They usually have good sales around the Christmas time season or holiday season, should I say. Next, we have hair products. If you're natural like me, hair products are always very good. Conditioners, um, leave-in conditioners, deep conditioners, um, combs, um, brushes, picks, all that good stuff. Next, skincare products. If you see a skincare product you like, whether it be a face wash, a face cream, a face lotion, you can ask for those type of stuff. Next, we have underclothes, which can include panties and bras. And you can get those from like Victoria's Secret, Airy. Next on here, we have candles, y'all. If you guys are in love with candles like me, you can get some really, really, really nice smelling candles at like Home Goods, at Home. Um, Walmart has some really good ones, Target as well. Next, we have some customized mold books. I'm gonna put some on the screen just so you guys know what I'm talking about. These are books that you can write in yourself, like the Burn After You Were Done book, um, fill in a book about yourself, things of the sort. Next, we have gift cards. Now, with gift cards, I'm just going to go through and name a few. You can give photo gift cards, you can give food gift cards, or you can give regular gift cards. Now, photo gift cards are for in case somebody wants to make a photo wall like this. I'm going to show an example. And then regular food gift cards are for like, rather it be like McDonald's, Chipotle, Burger King, Wendy's, Taco Bell, um, those type of gift cards. Next, we have regular gift cards, which can be like prepayable gift cards, so you can put money on it. And that's the same as number one as giving somebody money but only reason i say a gift card is because you know that they're not spending money on something that they shouldn't be and you can just give them the gift card if that makes sense next we have nail slash feet gift cards so that can be gift cards to get your girl's nails done or your mom's nails done and their feet done it could be their eyebrows it could be their eyelashes things of such sort which lead me to number 41 you can get your girlfriend your mom your sister your cousin some nice eyelashes to wear and all that stuff. I know I went through this list pretty, pretty fast, but I wanted to get straight to it so I can show you guys all the list, um, the gift ideas. This is 40 gift ideas that you can ask for or you can give as a gift. I really hope you guys did enjoy this gift guide video, and I hope you guys either receive or give some of these gifts that were on the list. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, y'all. Don't forget, I will be doing a cash giveaway once I reach 2K subscribers, to so two special subscribers, should I say. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are super, super great. And I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas with Nani. Oh, yeah, guys. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Fixing and fixing and all his reindeers pulling on the rain.